Hi everybody, it's Rita Smith, the number one food fairy. And um, as promised, I'm back here with a short instructional video on how to chop a pepper. I did how to chop an onion. And um, uh, so next up for people who are at the very basics of cooking and wondering why everything goes faster on TV when things are pre-chopped, um, I'm going to show you why, okay? Uh, I have seen people chop peppers where they cut the top off and then try to play around with what's inside um, and get it chopped quickly. It doesn't work that way. Here, here's how um, we did it in restaurants when we had to do them in 50-pound boxes at a time. Take your good sharp French, French knife, cut the pepper exactly in half. Okay, so out comes the inside of the pepper and the stem at the top. Okay, so the pepper is now empty of everything inside. I like to cut from the inside. I find the knife edge uh, bites better and um, you get uh, a much sharper, quicker chop through the pepper like this. So by the time you've done a few chops like that, you've got a diced pepper. I have actually worked with chefs. I actually had a chef tell me uh, uh, point blank. I was supposed to do this and slap the pepper. But that means then you're chopping through the outside of the skin. You can do that, but it actually it's harder work. It's hard, and the knife doesn't bite quite so well. And it slips around a little bit, as you can see. So I don't like that way. I, my preferred way is to do it um, this way, exactly through the top. Pull out the pull out the guts. Okay. Um, pull out the guts here. Those will all go into the recycle bin, the compost bin. Get the seeds out, and then just one, two, three, four, maybe five. And a really big pepper, I don't try to do it all at one time. But um, there you go. There's a chopped pepper for you with no seeds. And um, I don't need to smack it violently, and I don't need to try to cut through the outside of the skin, which is actually just more work and... It's slippery. It's slippery. If you're ever going to cut yourself, you're going to do it on the outside of the pepper, not the inside. So I don't know why anybody who was a professional chef would be telling me to do that, but um, maybe he's just jealous of me. I don't know. There we go. And just as a, a for instance, a red pepper, exactly the same thing. Right through the top. Okay. We'll pull out that little seed pod at the top and the stem and the white stuff. Okay, it's out, it's out, it's done. Shake the seeds out. And then from the inside of the pepper, I just slice, uh, dice the pepper this way, not dice it, slice it, uh, long ways. And there you go, you have uh, a pretty easy set of pepper strips. Now, if you just wanted uh, pepper sticks, like if you're making a recipe that called for uh, matchsticks, peppers, as opposed to diced peppers, then you could, just go the, then you could just go like this. Some Chinese recipes call for matchstick peppers, so those are nice and long. And if that's too long for your recipe, then you could just cut them like that. Okay, so that's that. Now, the last pepper that I have in uh, the bin is, uh, this is a Cubanelle. I tried to buy a jalapeno, but there were none on Pape Avenue today. Um, however, I, uh, I did buy a Cubanelle, and I wanna just make the point to make sure that everyone knows that when you work with hot peppers, you really need to have um, gloves. Either latex gloves or um, uh, plastic gloves, whatever it is that you can buy easily. These are from Canadian Tire. I think I pay $5.99 for 100, 100 pairs, or 100, so that's 50 pairs for $5.99. And if you're going to cut a hot pepper, honest to God, buy gloves. I cut it off that way. That one I do cut the tip off, okay, and cut it that way. Um, lots of times I am sending these right through my uh, grinder, so I don't need to really chop them at all. I just need to chop the stem off and then chop the inside out. But if you do not wear gloves when you do this, the oil, the hot oil from the pepper will get on your hands. It will get on your palms, which is really uncomfortable. 
I remember the first time I made a batch of pickle lily with really hot peppers, um, not knowing I should have protected my hands. My hands burned for a week, the palms right here. Oh my God, it was so uncomfortable. It's a chemical burn. It's like, it's a real chemical burn. And then the worst story was I was making um, salsa one day and I chopped hot peppers. I was wearing contact lenses at the time. This was pre-laser eye surgery. And um, on my way to the hockey arena to pick Johanna up from a hockey game, I felt something inside my eye behind my contact lens. It was probably an eyelash or something. I was on uh, Cosburn Avenue, almost all the way to the Stan Wadlow Arena. And uh, I touched my eyes with my finger to try to remove whatever was in my eye with my fingers and the oil from the hot peppers got between my contact lens and my eye. It was trapped there. I was blinded, like literally blinded. I could not see. I was in agonizing pain. Thank God I was able to pull my car over on um, Cosburn Avenue before I got to the arena and um, uh, just waited until all of the uh, pepper got teared out of my eye. It took about 20 minutes so that I could put my contact lens back in so that I'd be legal to drive, so that I could get home. It was really complex and um, uh, uh, stressful, stressful. And it reminded me, and I will remind you forever, it's easy to chop a pepper. Just cut it right in half, cut the guts out, pull the guts out with your finger, chop the thing. Look at it, it's no, no work at all. But if you're going to work with hot peppers of any kind, Hungarian, Cubanel, Jalapeno, um, uh, Scotch Bonnet, anything that, you know, is even remotely hot, uh, use plastic gloves. And uh, hang on, I'll put all this in here while I have my plastic gloves on. That'll all go into a Ziploc to go into the fridge eventually. But um, do not muck around with hot peppers um, and your bare hands. It, even if they're not that hot that it wouldn't cause you any trouble, you know, in the, in the short run, you say, yeah, I could get away with this. But if you wear contact lenses, if you need your hands to type at work, um, no matter what the situation might be, you should always uh, wear plastic gloves or some kind of vinyl, like something, Playtex gloves, whatever. Wear something that when you're done with the peppers, you can throw them away. And then when you, after you've thrown them away, they're not going to cause anybody any grief. Um, and uh, you can get on with your life. Uh, it seems a minor point at the time. However, if you had to pull over and wait a half hour to drive somewhere, or even worse, got into a car accident, um, that would be brutal. So uh, peppers are easy to chop. Peppers are, are simple, and it should only take 30 seconds. Hot peppers, wear gloves. And then later when I teach you how to make cranberry jalapeno jelly, you actually need safety glasses as well. And Johanna says that you know your mother really loves you when she makes a recipe that calls for safety glasses and rubber gloves. But, uh, yeah, you know, that's that's our family's favorite stuff. So it's, it's quick, it's easy, um, but protect yourself. Uh, be safe out there. Here's the number one food fairy, Rita Smith, signing off. Good luck cooking.